Hi, my name is Eamon. I'm the farm manager here in Airfield. And today we're going to show you how we milk our cows here on the farm and how we pasteurize our milk for our, our Overends Cafe here on site. We have a two unit milking parlor, um, which milks two cows at any one time. It has two machines known as clusters. We milk the cows morning and evening. We wash the parlor out first, we rinse it out with water and then we set it on for milking process. So we bring in our cows, at the moment they're out the field, um, lovely day like today, and they're out grazing grass. They walk in this walkway here and into the backyard while or let into the parlor. We start the process of cleaning the cows' teeth, make sure they're clean before we put the clusters on. So that is the process of getting a bit of dry toweling. We dry the cows' udders off and we make sure they're clean before we put the clusters on. We check for mastitis, which is an infection that can be caused in cows. Um, from there, we can put the clusters on. In the milk and parlour process, you'll actually see a small jar, which is known as a recording jar, and we get a digital reading out of what the cow is giving at any one time. We, we put our hand on the cow to make check that she's completely milked out in all four quarters, and then we'll take the machine off her. Once it goes into that milk cord, it goes into a large milk jar, and from there it goes into what we call a bulk milk tank. It's a big stainless steel refrigerator tank. Before we pasteurise the milk, we send our milk samples on a weekly basis um, to a Department of Agriculture approved lab, and they test it for TBC, which is the total bacteria count, and we also test it for SCC, which is the somatic cell count. It makes sure the cows have no infections, which would have affected the quality of their milk. In our production room, the machine is a continuous flow pasteuriser. We pasteurise normally maybe about 100 to 120 litres of milk. The whole process behind pasteurisation is, in a sense, about heating the milk up to over 72 degrees and then cooling it down rapidly down to 4 degrees. And that kills any bacteria that could be in the milk. In the cafe, they use it mainly for their coffees, that they start making cheese, and they also use it in the bakery. Mm -hmm. 